I am just saying, I'm trying to dodge it, duck it, dodge it, and everything. It's the same like when you. It'll take an iron. Hold on, jerk it all over. I couldn't while I couldn't do that. I just got hit forward. Lord help me. How is it? Hard to repair my wood. We got all different kinds. They can take all different kinds of my world. I would build. A wolf bit somebody and they turn into a wolf. Right when it's the moon full. And I say wolf. I walk it to tell you. A wolf. I don't know what he is. Let me tell you. How you get teeth like that? Over your mouth. Over your mouth. Oh, it looks in the Oh boy, he had it dang <laughs> I had to keep it. <laughs> no. Let me see your teeth. What did you look at my teeth? Let me see. Smile at me and tell me your teeth. All right. We're learning more about this new variant every single day. And as we learn more, we're going to share that information with the American people candidly and promptly. Second, the best protection. And I know you're tired of hearing me say the best protection against this new variant or any of the. Of the variants out there, the ones we've been dealing with already is getting fully vaccinated and getting.
and we can't come out here every 30 minutes. I understand that, sir. I understand that. Listen, I I, I, I just I just want to I just want her to take me out of here, please. That's all I ask. Well, I don't care who takes you where. That's your business. But if, if we get a call again, I'm gonna have to call an ambulance. Have you sent to the hospital for medical for a mental evaluation? I don't have any choice. I understand, but I mean I'm I'm in clear mind right now. I really am. I just. Understand that, but you think people are here trying to break in your house? There was people outside, officer. No, they weren't. I promise you, we checked. We checked inside and outside. Nobody here. But you can call again. We're gonna have to do something. Okay, we can't. I'm not saying you can't call. Right. You can call. Right. But if somebody's trying to break in your house and we don't find, we're gonna have to take it to the hospital. Okay. I understand that. Thank you. Is can, can, can she come in and get me and get myself? This is your home. You can have anybody in you want. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, she coming in? Is she coming in? Yeah, close the door. You close the door. Good evening, folks. A little bit early today, but how we doing? I didn't know that if Lizzie was on right now. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? What about now? I know you hear me now. I hate these damn jacks. That was a um. Can you hear me now? No problem. What do this? Can you hear me now? What about now? Can you hear me now? Okay. So I can keep going in, right? Okay, thank you. Now, as I was saying earlier, that was a um, short, brief video of a man going basically nuts. The uh, title of the of the today's show is um, The Origin of the Lichen. Um, the reason why I'm putting that out there is uh, y'all read the, uh, remember when I read that to you last night? The, um, the basic terminology so to speak that was put in the uh, predator nation predator hunter nation um the front page cover the origin of um, ernie shell there's a precedence of that um it goes deep it goes way deep um this man 
perceives himself to be that such thing, um, a bioengineered tool, so to speak. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating at all. No, this is the um, creation where we started. Now, where it actually began, we don't know. We do know that through his uh, past, he has um, joined many programs and he's, well, but it's why he's claimed to have joined many programs. He's a very peculiar creature himself. It's almost like an impulse, a fantasy, so to speak. But where did, where did it come, where did it start from? That's very unclear. We do know that he has changed over time. This right here should be able to help clear some of it up. I can get to it. That's why I started a little earlier today, so I can get this thing going. No, 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 no. no. I'm going outside. I'm just going outside. Now, for y'all that ain't familiar, there is a page that y'all can go check out on Facebook. Um, the author of the page will remain silent this time. Was uh, pretty much a person that, um, more ways than ones, was. Um, excommunicated so to speak or basically got on the trail or the path of uh, Ernie Shell and he has uh, made it a, a lifelong journey of his to give everybody the information they need to know on this end this man in question folks is not no way to bash this man this man needs help very much so I'm not going to go into detail. You can go check the page out you want to. I've just got a couple of videos I want to show you to um, basically coincide with what I've been telling you. Just bear with me here. Like I said, there's all kind of other meat on it. Some stuff that really does not actually does not even have any merit when it comes to investigative reporting or, or trying to get the information out about him. But there is some significant information in here that could lead us to possibly trying to figure out what his motives are. And when I say motives, there's motives, guaranteed. Monetary or what, or likewise. Now, we've all dealt with the, we've all seen the videos that I put out, or maybe you have, hope you have. And I could give you some more of collaboration and actually give you an insight of what I'm trying to get to about the, um, where he was at um, January 6th at the insurrection. He was also there at the at the um, Kenosha. He was also involved during the laundry case. Also during, of course, this case. He has pushed the, the narrative of how he don't want to. He's trying to do it for the people. He's for the people. But there's many different um aspects this man check this one out friends okay wrong one that one there's not what i want to do oh why it showed up that's stupid There's so much gonna piss me off. All right. All right. This is shape shifting. This is where the pay attention. Is. Well, 
Okay, that's fine. 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 Ok
my best get back and every time I try my best to get back, he's still like my trying to hold on to me, jerk me, push me around and everything else, and I'm trying to dodge him, duck him, dodge him and everything. He just seemed like when you feel something real strange or something real like right in here. See, sometimes I, I get to go, I don't even get to hold that door face on her and hold on, jerk it all over, and I couldn't walk, I couldn't do that, I just back it his floor. Lord help me. How is it? Folks, that was his uh, grandmother. Ernie was video was audio taping his grandmother, and was using it as a defining moment to let everybody know that he was part werewolf. Nobody else. This this video audio was taken off of Ernie. Ernie re delivered this out to the public. This is actually his grandmother. That he's talking about. What? We got out of the end. They say, Father, the person next world. I would be him. I would be somebody that's running to a wolf. I wouldn't. The moon for. And I say, Wolf. I have lost if you tell it. I would. I don't know quite a year sitting there. How do you get teeth like that? Hope you're mad. How do you get Hope teeth like that? that? Oh. That's very disturbing, folks. I mean, that's more than just disturbing. That's disturbing. Now, this is the first sign of anybody that's ever went against him. You start up, um, you'll see the rhythm of how he will, he will turn in a dime. It's all about protecting people until they piss him off. Y'all pay attention. Things get different sideways in a minute. It wasn't here on your gas. It was my gas that I put the motherfucker in. So third, I wasn't meeting no fucking girl. So you go grow up. You go get you a fucking life and you do what you need to do, okay? Leave me the fuck alone. Listen, she's not going to do nothing. Just keep doing what I'm telling you to do. Just don't go too far with it. That's all I want you to say right now. She's going to lose her fucking mind. I know who this is. I know who this person is. It's my ex. That's how I know. That. You know, I've got a whole big bunch of messages from her right now. She fucks up so many times. But anyways, I think that's who it is. I'm, and I tried to get her voice and she wouldn't message. She told me, she said, you'll recognize my voice. And right there is it. So, uh, you know, she tells on herself. Very top notch. Very sophisticated person. Very slick. But then you get these little conversations here. He had told me that he was in the military and he worked for the FBI. I've always had an interest in anything regarding military, army, detective related things. I was just asking him questions about that. I asked him about his brother and how he was doing and how he talked to him. And he just flipped out. He cussed at me. He told me if I didn't quit asking him questions that I was going to see a person in him that he did not want to fucking see. I thought to myself, like, I, like, wait a minute, did he just just legit and um and i sat down beside him and informed him that he would not disrespect me in my own home of course you know the rest of history said i'm not sure not the the type that would even think about putting up with it he would change often he would change often just how he would be you know be quickly change often so he sticks out with that um that edge, you know. He wants somebody to think he's he, he runs that him that attitude like he's uh he's a weird son of a bitch. Now of course there's other things that's said about him. He's right here.
See the name Eric Rush? Y'all understand? Or do, or remember the word. Remember the name Eric. That's all I want you to remember out of this. Don't worry about the rest of the shit if you don't believe. Don't listen to it. Just the name Eric. There's a damn. Uh, remember I mentioned the fact the other day about word um, association with him. How he uh, sticks with words. It's the uh, nature of the beast, basically. Remember why I brought that up? The uh, reason why I brought that up is because Eric Roberts. Okay. Eric Roberts, he's also went after the actor. He also scammed the actor, Eric Roberts, during a, um, uh, a c convention. Nobody really knows exactly what went down. Eric won't even talk about it, but he scammed Eric out of like two grand. Um, you can see it on some of the videos. Um, this is where he, this, this right here is where he, let, he threatens to lie about an individual. Did I, did I use him? Now, this is a person he's talking about protecting folks at one time. He, he's, he's literally just he talking used about a woman. He is sitting there going to tell her, tell everybody what, what type of person he is by just, um, well, his own words, basically. You ain't got to worry about much of slander when it comes to this man. You pretty much get everything you need to know out of him through his own words. He used a woman in New York who I know. Name the, name the woman. Her initials is TM, right? Did I use her? You better do your fucking homework, pal. I went up there to tie networks together. Remember that, old buddy. Remember that. He used a woman in New York who I know. Oh, let me text her real fast. Text Tammy. Oh, shit, did I just name that name? Her initials is T.E.M. Let's tell about Tammy. Who is Tammy? Tammy is connected to do, 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 and do, 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 do. Tammy is a drug addict. Do, 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 do. Tammy sells her clonopin. Do, 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 do. And see, that's what he does. Whenever somebody turns on him, 90% of the time he attacks people has already got a, a, an ailment, already got an addiction. He tracks that. Ernie tries to claim he does not do anything. He is full of shit. Now, of course, I've not sat down and partaked with him. I'm just telling you the facts. He is a narcissist to the fact that he will take advantage. He will he will prey on people that's got a um, disadvantage to him. In other words, they can handle they can't handle the addictions. Maybe he can handle his addiction, but I don't know. The fact is clear that if he sees they got an age, they got something they can he can gain off of them. He'll use that for his advantage. And then when they don't work out, this is what he does. Amy sells one other pills. Uh oh. Uh. Tammy lives in a weird area. You want me to give her address? <laughs> you want her address? You can have it. You want somebody evil like that coming checking for, looking for you young? I don't think it'd be a good idea. It's it's just basically these are just uh, testimonials. Here's testimonials that might be interesting to you. Did you know that that um that you this um he's talking to um. I believe he's talking to Shelby. Shelby's the one that's in prison right now for killing the mayor. Did you know that your brother Ernie was made has made a fake profile to mock his dead father by using another dead man's image? Now, the reason why he was uh, basically disowned from his family was because he uh, testified against his brother Shelby. Not so much the fact that they thought that he was involved in his accessory to murder, but everybody in the family basically feared Ernie more than they feared Shelby. They said they considered that Ernie was the, uh, the more dangerous person. He uh, pushed stories about werewolves, like I told you before. I mean, you know, no harm, but your brother wants to make y'all look bad. I'm sure you've seen some of his shenanigans. He has his profile working on his page tonight. See for yourself. He's also whole damn full of lies and spamming. Using that man right here at the bottom of the page. I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that, that man is not his father. He's passing that guy over at his father. He won't even use his father's name. His daddy will he wasn't even allowed at his daddy's funeral. He was banned from the funeral. That's pretty bad. Uh, this is where he talks about the conversation. That's actually Ernie's mother. I said grandmother earlier. I apologize. That was a conversation you heard a while ago about the uh, werewolves and such. So he's trying to get people to believe his story about him and Mac being werewolves. Trying to use the guy's profile to get people to believe him by watching the interactions. With his. This is a very top-notch, very, very professional person here. James Haynes, look at the guy's occupation. Works as a werewolf hunter. 
See that? Werewolf hunter. Whew. I'm talking about Looneyville, USA, baby. Sent me her set, and it's just fine. This woman don't have a problem with this right here. She's uh, wide open. She's all against it. She don't care who sees her name, so don't worry about it. I ain't dogs nobody. Sent me with a recording, claiming it was his mom, talking years about Ernie and his family. I was going to say I never heard her speak before. She spent a solid two hours trying to sell the whole thing to me in private message about werewolves. Trying to sell the fact that this man is a descendant of werewolves. That's who's going to be uh, telling all the information on that other, other network, other channel sometime. And I'll let us know what I all know about Summer. That is a top-notch, um, that's who I'd want. That, that's respected a uh, researcher or, or whatever the hell you want to call him, a hunter of uh, predators. Ain't a werewolf a predator or not a werewolf. I'm, you know, a werewolf ain't real, but you do know what I'm talking about. Kind of disturbing, eh? I sure hope y'all over there listening to me because I don't know. I don't know if y'all or not. But yeah, this guy has got some problems, buddy. Problems. Sir's problems. Sir has problems. It goes on and on and on. He, um, His sister's even mentioned in, okay, right here. You can, uh, all sorts of things. My grandfather and my great-grandfather both had lung issues. Well, that's what she's saying. But this ritual, he claims, will be Ernie's first kill. Now, this right here is what's really disturbing right here. Robert Ditton and he had a horrible death, in my, if I must say. There's just some ongoings with this woman. She's uh, talking about the whole thing. She's basically breaking it down for everybody. What the hell's going on with Ernie? But he's sick. But he is coming around here, though, Cat's Eye. Yeah, he's coming up. He's uh, He's got there's uh, on True Crime Exposed. He has done the uh, preview on it. He is um coming to deliver the folder on Summer Wells like he has been basically researching his case. That's where he's been the whole time. He acts like we don't see the news. We don't see where his ass is just popping up left and right every time somebody pops a damn big camera out. He's all over, trying to get somewhere. It says right here, me too. But I've heard him talk about the legends of his family for a long time, so apparently he believes he, it's a real, and he thinks passing a story like this can benefit him somehow. Tenny and Xander always play with the ruse. They even try to help him with the fake profile or post yesterday. So I don't know what the gain from the story like this is. People are not stupid, Ernie. People are not stupid. You cannot come in here casting this damn shadow upon this child or this case. Now, I'm not trying to defame him. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm trying to show you people that this man is very weird. And you're saying a true crime is exposing, uh, is it deleting comments? Yeah, that's kind of disturbing, too, especially when the video he put out pretty much had him in a situation where he was, he's almost like he's infatuated with the man. That is very disturbing because I've tried to help. I told him to email me. I told him if he wanted to email me, I'd give him some insight on him. The man is not what he, you know, he grew up to his mom thinking she was a, vamp, a werewolf and vampire and even had a litter of wolves. He believed his mother had a litter of wolves. So, I mean, the apple don't fall from the tree. So that's why he has the little, and why he's always in there at night. He's always out doing his little interviews at night. He's always in the dark of his car, out in the damn, damn woods. He don't, it's like he's scared, but he always says he goes into the dark to bring, you know, that's, he calls himself doing that. Folks, that's what I'm doing. I'm actually, but I don't like the dark. I'm not scared of it, but I just don't like it. I will go into it because I ain't scared of it. But this, this man, he hides and lurks. He's very disturbing. Now, I'm going to go uh, one step further here, and I'm going to show you something that ain't never been seen by anybody on YouTube. And um, it's going to be the first time it's going to be displayed. Now, y'all probably have seen it on Facebook. 
I want this to get out to let you know. You heard the disturbing of, have you seen the videos where he tried, where he shows you how to make a, to a slip a roofie into a warm, a girl's drink? Have y'all seen the video of that? I won't go into that one if y'all have already seen it. Um, but this is, um, it's very disturbing. But this one right here, I want you to pay attention closely to the wording of what this man is going to tell you. Now, folks, it's going to be alarming. It's a trigger warning, okay? Just letting you know. Just be, just, just try to listen to as, as close as you can to the wording. I'm going to try to turn it where it won't be so loud and blaring, but y'all need to hear this. This is very important. You're going to say in every day you get to have sex in the mansion, is it? Good ass. Well. It isn't every day. You're going to say in every day you get to have sex in the mansion, is it? Good ass. Well. You're going to say in every day you get to have sex in the mansion, is it? Yeah. Folks, the man is sitting there perverted, peeping Tom. He is sitting there with a camera videotaping a couple in their home. Yes, their windows are open. Voyeurism. Peeping Tom. Psycho. April, I don't know whose mansion it is. I know whose voice it is. I know who's holding the camera. I know who's discussing it. I really don't know. The point is very disturbing, though. I will tell you that much. This man lurks everywhere. He Every time you turn around, he is always about that. The lady in the voice recording about the way that's his mother. Yeah, that's right. That's his mother. It was verified by his sister. Thank you, Brian. Yes, that's what I was saying earlier. His mother believed that she was a vampire and a werewolf. And she gave birth to a litter of puppies. This man is disturbed. This man is very disturbed. Trying to get a voice on her volume. I can't hear the volume on. Oh, what he's saying. I don't know what he's saying there. Why won't that get bigger? I think that might have been the same one we seen a while ago. Probably was. It's funny how it, this guy, I mean, the, the, the uh, producer of this, uh, page on facebook he, he relates to it and like the liking and, and it kind of makes sense if you look at it when it comes to the um the times that he usually comes out the times he usually wants to make his appearance is usually around whenever the moon's out he's, he's very into it i mean it's it's it's, it's something that i don't i don't want to consider it be comical i think it's that he's got an issue i think he's very very disturbing in his own way but um i don't know he just um it's very scary He used a woman in New York who I know. Name the, name the woman. Her initials is T.M., right? Yeah, we've seen that one, all right. Yeah, that's right. Now, that's, um, we'll see if I can find the one that he put out that not too long ago, where he pretty much tells his beliefs and how he wants to continue um i think that's gonna be on rock yeah like i said folks there's nothing uh it's very this man is not needed when it comes to trying to find a case this man is sporadic 
as far as his background, where he's worked, it's sporadic. It's hard to keep up with him. Um, he pretty much does what he wants to. Now, this one is a new one he just put out. We'll check it out real quick. No telling what it's about. No telling what he's going to say. Wow. Beautiful area, I'm telling you. I don't even know what I would do without this place. Tell you what's true. Oh, man, get ready to get set up to get ready to go, golly. Woo. So, let's see this one started up here. Now, this man is in love with himself, folks. That's obvious. He has got to carry on a persona. There's several people that he tries to emulate. Um, as far as um, the, to, to describe him, it's almost as if it's a plan to do it. Because he, if you used to describe him to somebody, if you've seen him lurking somewhere, you would pretty much, somebody would look at you and probably think of every damn uh, Hollywood actor or every damn uh, person in anybody's mind. That would be the stereotype. And he, he doesn't try to hide it. The uh, narcissistic perversion is there. And the way he is just, I don't know, he wants to be the most gaudiest, the most um, outspoken, and the most boisterous person in, in the group. And he has to be because he's uh, so small. But I digress. Let's get some air going. All right, get the music all pumped up here. Yeah, I know. I got you. All right. So, wow. Just up here. Somebody's been in my seat. What do people get in my seat for? I don't know. Well, hello, 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 hello. So, uh, tonight, wow. We're going to have some gene awareness classes, and uh, but we're, I mean, I'm not going to give the location where I'm at or where I'm going to be at. I hope you guys tune in because this is going to be magnificent. Remember I said I'm going to tour the U.S.? Well, I meant that. I'm waiting for some contracts right now. Matter of fact, I've got one now. I've got to do some training in Texas here this week. Uh, so all along the way, oh, you know, out. I found out some beautiful, beautiful places, places to pick. So I can show you guys. So show you now you guys are going to have to tell me if you've been to these places. I'm not going to say the name of the places. I'm not going to say the name of the places. Until you see it live on video. you see it live on video. This will be about... Uh, this will be about... Um, probably about 5 p.m. About, about 5 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time. About 5 p.m. Eastern time. I think we'll do about 5, about 5 p.m. We'll Eastern time. About 5 p.m. Eastern time. You know, I'd retire these. You know, I'd retire these. I've had a lot of people ask me about these bracelets. These are the same ones I've wore for. These the same ones I've wore for. For a while. For a I, while. Hey, you said I, something. I just seen somebody say something. That was very. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I'm not going to try to downgrade it because it's actual factual. What she said was, um, that Karen, Captain Gilbert. I appreciate you saying that. Um, the fact is, yes, he probably is watching this. I guarantee you, he's watching. Um, he is fixated on himself. He's watching. He's also got trolls that are watching. There's probably in here right now. The problem, the, the fact about it, the problem with that is, is me trying to distribute this information out. I have to take that and it has to be, we just got to be smarter than what we're working with. What has to happen is you've got to know what to trust. You've got to be smart. Do not answer any DMs. Don't answer anything that does not look familiar to you. Does not that you're not used to answering. Um, good afternoon, April. You've got to be careful. This man is dangerous. Dangerous to the fact of not. Oh, well, there's nothing you can put past him. He has been able to learn. He's not under the radar. I'll give you that much. We're not the only ones watching him. Put it that way. He is very much under key. He's watched. But the ones that bother you, that should bother you, and like it bother me, is not him. It's not the ones that you need to be watching. It's not him. See, he knows he's in the limelight. He knows he's being watched. But the ones that you got to worry about is the ones that follow him, the ones that emulate him, the ones that want to be him. That's the ones that need to be watched. You've got to, um, got to be careful about you got going on. So he thinks that his father, with the werewolf situation, when I showed you that earlier about the um, 
the Amber Madden. When I showed you, when I, I don't know if y'all said see that or not. I'm gonna try to show it to you. I don't think it was on. That's the that case there. He thinks that his father killed that girl's, but I killed that profile man, the man I showed you earlier on that profile. He thinks that um, that's what he portrays himself as. He says that that man that I showed you a picture of. Y'all, my damn page. Let me show you that. I probably, uh, think, I probably uh, you know, I, know, I, I thought know, about, I thought about giving you people the you people the chance if you, if you guys want these and everything. I may put them up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to charge for them. I mean, I'd probably just use it for gas or something like that. It's just one. It's just one. I mean, I'll see these bracelets to y'all. Sign them. Put them or whatever. These are the same. These are the same ones I've had for ages. Now I've had these for a long time. Long, long time. So I don't know. 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 I don't now he wants to sell bracelets. Yeah. Anything to make a buck. I'm going to quit doing this. But that's just pretty much just this. this I, I can't concentrate when I got somebody over my shoulder sitting there worrying about shit. They don't even worry about because they don't want to ball. Now, I want you to look at this right here. This case right here. When I was telling you about the uh, word, word association a while ago. Word association with narcissist, with one that's um, got patterns the way he does. They're very disturbing. I want you to, uh, to read this. I'm going to try to read it to you if I can get it to come on the screen. I hope it will. Yeah, it's on there. Okay, good. Now, this is the disappearance of Keeslin Roberts. Keeslin Roberts. Blonde haired. Blue-eyed. Now listen to me now. Pay attention. Am I echoing now? Am I echoing? Am I echoing? Am I echoing? Okay, thank you. Keeslin Roberts, The Disappearance, blonde hair, blue eyed little girl. This article initially misstated the counties in which, which they said it was Rasak and Chatworth. Her early life, she was born in 1999, October 22nd, to the parents, Sharon and Eric Roberts. Did you hear that? Eric Roberts. Eric. You see that name a while ago when I was scrolling through Facebook? The little fella that um that he hooked up with in prison, boyfriend Eric. All right now, also y'all know the actor Eric Roberts, right? Yeah, he had a running with him, had an issue where he scammed him out of some money. Word association. There's some triggers that hit him. The word J uh, the, uh, the other night, other day was Jason. Yes, it's one of the. It's not the Eric, actor Eric Roberts, but it was the actor Eric Roberts. He did scam. He also the father of this child that disappeared, Eric Roberts. Now, in this case, leading up to the disappearance on January 17th, Keeslin was scheduled to attend a probation meeting with a Whitfield County Sheriff's Office in relation to her 2018 charges. Now, when she was young, she got herself in trouble with some marijuana. The rest of marijuana, possession of tools to the commission of a crime, use of communication facilities and drug tra transactions, and possession and use of drug-related objects. Nearly two years later, in 2020, she was arrested and charged with the sale of methamphetamine. She was involved in the drug ring. Now, her disappearance, she was supposed to be going to, uh, to talk about charge in 2018. She failed to attend the meeting and thus a warrant for violation of probation was issued in her name. Now, her disappearance was last seen on January 18, 2020 in a flying J off I-75-288 Resaca. Beach Boulevard in Rasek, Gordon County, Georgia. Rascal. According to the press release issued by the Gordon County Sheriff's Department, officers responded to a 911 call that day in regards to a suspicious female presumed to be Keeslin at the truck stop. It's reported that she had entered an employee-only kitchen area where she had altercation with an employee of the attached Denny's. She hastily left before the officers arrived, but had left behind her backpack, which employees handed over to the police. Inside were wallet 
put her wallet, debit card, ID, and some cash, and her phone charger. There are some outlets that have stated to, she told witnesses that she was at a truck stop because she had arranged a meeting with an unnamed male. However, this has not been collaborated. On January 20, 2020, her family was searching for her when they came upon her white Toyota Corolla parked in the far corner of the back parking lot of the Flying J. They found the majority of her belongings inside, including her purse, but could not find no sign of her in the area. While Keeson was officially reported missing with the Murray County Sheriff's Office, investigators would not be aware of the vehicle's discovery until a few days later on January 29th. A lot of time was dropped. A lot of time was lost. They didn't know where she was at. Didn't even know about the vehicle. Initially, the case was handled jointly by both Murray and Gordon County. As of October 2020, it has been since taken over by, by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, according to the family. There was also initially a rumor that Keeslin had simply just stayed with her boyfriend and she was known to be living with him at the time. However, when spoken to by Eric, her father, he revealed that he didn't see his girlfriend in a few days. Now, Eric was her uh, boyfriend's name, too. Kind of a weird thing, ain't it? Eric, all over the place. Phone calls to Keeslin's cell phone go straight to her voicemail. I believe that she or her phone was in possession, as it was not in her car, nor was it in a backpack, or either off or ran out of batteries. So somebody's keeping it charged. That was what kept going on. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is there's, um, you need to go check into this. Find the whereabouts. This man was in the location, in the proximity of it. There's always a connection when it comes to him with names and location. He is a trigger. There's something that pushes, pushes his buttons when it comes to names. And he always tries to put something with it. There's always a, a correlation with it between something. We don't know what. But this right here, that blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl, there is reason to believe that he had something or has knows knowledge, some kind of carnal knowledge of this situation. He's very crafty, very meticulous. He always goes after truck stops, too. He's always talking about truck stops and truck drivers. You can read the articles. You can read all the lies. He tells on all this stuff. He's not bashful, by no means. <laughs> he is very scary. Who's calling somebody XO here? I can't hardly read these little words. What is up? What's going on in there? In that shit. Folks, there's also disturbing to me is the fact that the, the disappearing blonde-haired, blue-eyed child that was supposedly reportedly involved in the conversation that happened during the Dr. Phil show, nobody has been able to produce anything produced, productive at all to pertain to any child being found. Now, I'm kind of disturbed with that because it, not only was it brought up before, but now that a, a letter has been released from the Wells pertaining to this and trying to understand and explain it away, what is your point? What is the point in explaining away the, um, the mis misalignment of the call and the crying of Candace. Now, I'm just asking for a simple question. There's something there. There should be some kind of paper trail somewhere in this in this state that I live in now. Might not be national. I can understand that. Some things do get false to the crack. But when it comes to being a, a UPI, AP, something should have come up by now. There should be something on a missing child that was found that was where the police had been restrained from going into the building and then finally went in and found a child. Now, that right there is what I want to know. 
Well, now I could check with Chase and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But where is the information? The news outlets, somebody had to have said something. Somebody had to pertain something. If the police was involved, why and and why can't you match the dates? Exactly, Genevieve. That's the correlation I'm looking for. There's always corroboration. There's facts. If you if the issue happened somewhere, there's a paper trail. There's dates that we can match. There's places that can coincide. A blonde haired, blue eyed child. Was the call a legitimate call? Boy, we've had them lately. Was the call a prank or was the call staged? Now, a text now phone number is not that hard to get. Anybody can get one. Why would anybody want to deny having one? I don't understand why, but that's been said a lot. Now, the fact of the matter is you could you could get one a day and turn around and get another one tomorrow. It's as simple as that. Uh, they're not that they're not. Expense, they're not no money at all. They're free. And um, but why would someone keep saying that they do not have a text now phone? How is it connected again? Well, that's for y'all to figure out. See, I'm throwing this out there because he was in the vicinity during that time. That's where the research and development. That's where y'all got to be involved. I know the correlation of where he's at. I know what he was doing. I know where he was at, but see, that's where it takes a little bit of this time. Check out the page that I showed you, the tale of the lichen. There's a path. This ain't a, this ain't a treasure hunt, but it'll sure find a whole lot at the end of it. Trust me. This man, people need to quit looking at the videos and trying to find information on this man and start doing the search yourselves. This man is manipulating people. This man is finding them at their weakest points. Coming to him like he's one of the boys from one of the boys from home. He's he's down home fella. You know you got to trust him, and he's using this to benefit himself. And it's my point is this, folks. He has not been doing this for twenty years. He has not been trying to go out and protect children for twenty, ten, even five years. He has had several occupations. Several from being a wrestler to a corrections officer, which I've yet to find that there yet, where he claimed to be at Sullivan County, New York. Can't find information on him there. That would be a key. Can't find information, but he claims all kinds of things. He even claims documentation of proven track record. Now, when you say proven track record, that means you've got receipts. Why would anybody want this? I mean, I understand neighborhood watches. That's not what I'm getting at here. But this man was, was a wrestling promoter, got thrown in jail. Corrections officer, got fired for intimate uh, intercourse with, with inmates, so to speak. They like to talk a lot. Um, no, Eric Roberts is an actor, yes. He had ties, but he had run-ins with that guy. He screwed him out of some money. He scammed him. The Eric Roberts, in the case of uh, Keeslin Roberts is her father and also her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was named Eric too. Three different guys. Um, there was also the Michaela Nelson was the one that um, disappeared also during that. Um, that'll be a one that you can look at. There's several. Look at the correlate. Try to find the time frame where he's at. Where he's at now. Now, right now he's in Newport News. He's in Newport, uh, Tennessee. And I've had a correlation that he was somewhere else last night. Uh, the reason why I'm saying he's probably up there now is because there's going to be somebody doing a, um, basically a PR moment. She's going to be doing a um, conference. But it's not really the point. It's always about attention. It's the glamour of it. It's the sport of it. It's not taken seriously about none of this, but the, what the risk is, is what he's willing to do to get himself up to the top notch. Huh? Well, he probably didn't. He, he tried to make everybody think he went to Canada. He probably went up there for a wedding. But um, 
It wasn't his. Out of jealousy. But the um, he leaves a long list of women that he mooches off of, takes advantage of, throws them in, just throws them down, and carries on, or just run off. And then on in his wake, he usually assaults as far as messes with their uh, family, the backlight, everything brings everything. I mean, he, he exposes. He basically just sets them up for anybody to be taken for granted. He does not care. He does not have empathy nor sympathy. You are a tool, a vessel, an opportunity, or a step that he has to go on to get above you, to get above everybody else. When he left, when he joined the Summer Wells case, there was a moment that I thought that he had something to do with it, that this could have been a staged event. I did think that. I could see why, how, why would not not be possible for this man to be wanting to be somebody he's not to get the limelight. Could you not imagine him setting this up? Maybe promising Don and Candace a little bit of money. I did think that maybe that was a ruse. It was a sickening ruse, but at the same time, the child was put some, you'd have to be, the child would have to be put somewhere with blindfold all the time or not knowing her, her um, hostage keepers, somebody that would see her all the time. Where could you put her at? You'd have to keep her on the move somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Or if you hit her at somebody's house, say, for instance, that people think that you don't have no ties to, that you have been disowned from, could it have been possible? Yeah. I had, I carried a theory that maybe he had her housed at his mother's house. Then there was a theory that possibly she had went with a, she had traveled with somebody else to Florida. The reason being is are the headlights. See, the woman that took the kids down to Florida claimed that she got headlights and just two of her kids while they were in a motel. But the mother and them didn't have it. But she did. And the claim, the theory was, and there's a possibility, there was rumors that there was more than one, there was more than the right, she only had four children. She was a fifth child was in the car with her when they went down there. Now, that theory has always been held possible because Tina Marie had ties down there. Tina Marie is Tina Simler. Be clear, there's no evidence that that's theories, but they're educated theories. They're not just set up on random events. They're not just set up on random rumors. It's going by the principle of checking their background, their bio, their movements, their their verbal the way they talk, the way they text, the way they their persona more or less, and their website. Whenever Tina Simmerly just straight out says that she does, that she's not against, she's not above. Stealing a child, kidnapping a child in efforts of protecting a child from being abused. And then we hear from other people how they were manipulated, taken advantage of for their addiction. Some there's also been uh, allegation not allegation, but actually. Um, statements made by men that were uh, drugged, not drugged uh, voluntarily, they were drugged voluntarily, they got high along with him and he uh, forced them without handcuffs, without them being tied down, but basically forced them to do things they didn't want to do as far as driving into another, another state, dropping him off and then making them swear and, on sack of Bibles or whatever, or just fear to God into where he guaranteed where he was comfortable enough where he knew he wouldn't, they weren't going to tell on him. He just let him go. Now, mind you, that is their stories. We don't know no corroboration with that. No, uh, <clears throat> there was no, uh, police, uh, investigation done, but still, I can repeat this because they are published stories. Um, the stories about the, um, at the high stack, high stack, um, corrections facility, which was for, um, inmates housed there with addiction problems where he was, um, a, a corrections officer at where he was, um, fired basically for, um, inappropriate actions toward inmates. These are stories that are being told by people that have not just been outed by him, not people that he has just run over. Because then you could then you could just uh, counter them and say, "Well, they're just they're mad, or they're um, they're, they're scorn lovers, so to speak." But now these people, some of these people have followed him for years, been keeping a track on him due to maybe something that happened in their past or whatever, and some of them 
are recent. The ones that we're just now hearing about. Some of them are the recent ones. Just like the video about the, where I just showed about him peeping Tom. His tendency to want to try to show us how close he gets to the dark side, how close he gets to the predators that he claims to be hunting is the most vile of all. That right there is a problem. I understand you've got to go, you got to, you got to lay down with him if you want to, you want to try to, I understand all that, but you've got to have limitations. He's not undercover. He is not a police officer. He has fake credentials. That's the other things. Whenever you're trying to be a hunter, you've got to have some kind of respectability and some kind of, of where we can tell which side of the law you're on. Some kind of proof, some kind of documentation. He's not licensed. He's licensed at a fugitive task force, yeah. But that moves, that's only, I'm afraid, he claims to be 12 states. He's not licensed to carry a firearm, but why? Why is it that he can't carry a firearm? He does not have a felony warrant. From what I'm saying, he don't have a felony warrant. He doesn't have a felony arrest. He doesn't even have a damn felony record. But do you see it? No. no. You don't see it at all. You wonder why he's walking around without a without nothing on him. Now, there is an arrest warrant on him now that we do know. He does have a arrest warrant. It's um so show calls, deferred installment payment. He basically either chose uh he owes the Commonwealth in Harlan, Kentucky. It's Commonwealth State of Kentucky. So there is a warrant now issued for him. Show calls deferred. He just was basically a bench warrant, more or less. He didn't show up for court. Now, that was supposed to have been, uh, what was that? What was that? It's scheduled. It's, yeah, it's scheduled for 9 a.m. now. He's got the warrant. He had already been arrested, but now he's got to be in court. It's December 3rd for that court date. But as far as his, what I'm saying is, there's no reason why he cannot carry a firearm. But he, but he makes it clear. He's made it clear on several investigations, on several interviews, that he cannot wear a firearm. Now he also runs the, some of the people that are involved in his crew, mind you, just like the Earl Sizemore that I told you about. Now, everybody think that's the that's the Raven, so to speak. That's the one that's got the Raven profile on Facebook. Is a known pedophile. The several, the uh, the, the, Tom, the Tim, I uh, can't remember the name. I'm, I'm blank line. Anyway, several of his associates, set fellow uh, hunters, have run-ins. Anything from uh, sexual assault to battery. A list. Several lists. But he has left people in his wake everywhere he goes. But he does not mention it. He does not think about it. He thinks that he is clean. Now, being an informant carries a little bit of that. You have a little weight. You can do what you want to. But that is wearing thin with him. That is wearing thin. Now, it's getting down to you got to have the right people. Because going to the FBI, and y'all people out there hear me, you know what I'm talking about if you're still watching the show. We used a message to me a while ago. Just want to give you shout out and let you know without revealing you're going to the FBI is the wrong way to go. They're not going to help you. You know who I'm talking to. What I'm telling you to do is message me back and I'm going to tell you who you need to get in touch with. Now, somebody you already know, somebody that wants to help and she knows the right people for you to get in touch with. That's all I'm going to tell you, but you know who I'm talking about. This is not a game. We all know the rules, but it's not a game. This man is dangerous. Point blank dangerous. He's not somebody to be fooled or played with at all. He is going to manipulate, swindle, and try his best to worm into any body he can. That's what he's all about.
That's all he knows. It's all about a dollar. It's all about notoriety. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think the dollar is that much. I think the dollar is what entices the people to follow him. I think that's where he gets the, them to, to join in is where the money gets right. Because, see, his, all, all his illusion is is about the, the fame, the stardom. He wants to be the next big hit. Um, but as far as the, the people that help him, the ones that can actually bring him forward because he does not have the knowledge, does not have the skills, he just got the, the word for all. And he knows the areas. He's got to have the the personnel that wants to come. That's right. He's a fame junkie, DB. Just straight to the point, fame junkie. But he can't do it alone. And he's, he, he does know that much. So he's got to bring them along with him to get, any, get anything accomplished. As far as Summer's concerned, that is the only reason that he's been able, but we don't know who he's bringing. We don't know who already is, who already is there. But we do know that he's got a, supposed to be going on a damn show here for long. I don't know when it is. I'm trying to keep my eyes open on it. But they, um, true crime exposed. And I'm kind of worried about that show. I know that me trying to get him on this show would not work. We both got triggers. He would try anything in his power to, to make me look bad. And I would not trust him on this show with y'all here. I don't like the fact of me having to talk about this, but it's got to be talked about. It's got to be. Now, he has been known to go after people that surround individuals. But he's got trolls on him, too. There's trolls everywhere, trust me. It doesn't matter if it's YouTube or not. There's trolls everywhere. You're, we're not the only ones that you know, have that. But any kind of correspondence with him needs to be addressed. Anything where he, if he does... If he does call, if there's any way that he comes out and tells it tells you that he is him, if you got a feeling it's him, if you even never fathom of a thought that it might be him, you send me an email with a copy of what he sent you. It will be transferred over to the proper authorities. Now that's not all I can do, but that's what I can do right now. But this man is trying to get right back into this again. This man is dangerous. He is dangerous to those that are vulnerable. I'll put it that way. And to be honest with you, I don't know what he'd do. Because he's he's he, he, he leaves and bounds. I mean, you gotta understand you gotta look at his track record, where he started at. You know, this is a hustle. There is a brief moment in his time. We don't have a clue what he did. We don't know. He claims that he did this. He claims that he done that, but there's no record of it. It don't matter what you go through, what background check, you can't find it. And it's a point that bothers me. Am I saying he's guilty of anything? No. Do I think he's suspect? Yeah. Is he more revealing when time comes? Yeah. When he wants to be revealing, he is. He can be. Good morning, self made mom. That all depends on what's going on. And he don't come out unless there's a reason. You don't hear nothing from him. He will go dormant. It all depends on what's going on. And the scary part about that is when he's constantly out there, it makes me wonder, what is he doing when we don't know where he's at? That's the illusion. That's the worry. When we don't have eyes on him, but I know we've got several eyes on him that are always keeping up with him. And some of them are two or three people at one time at different angles. But the fact that he can still manipulate women and go from town to town, pick up one and go with it, create a facade. And trust me, if you ain't never heard of him, he will go out of his way to look it up on his phone, whatever he can find for somebody to be talking about it, to help conjure it up. And folks, you got you to gotta admit, people are very susceptible to that right there. They think somebody, just because they don't know them, don't mean they ain't famous. They'll run with it. And they'll just think they're involved with somebody famous and they don't care because that's their, that's, they, they want that uh, bond. And that's the ones he attacks. Not making fun of anybody like that, but that's who you, that's who he goes after. That's his niche. That's his persona. Good old country boy. I wouldn't want to take a chance of not waking up next morning. Man, because he is that, he is that temperamental. They say that when he changes now, mind you, he wants to be the werewolf. So be it. 
But uh, the only thing close enough I can see the werewolf is his temper. He can change in the blink of an eye. He can go from being all nice and can deal with a lot of pressure. He can deal with a lot of spam. He can deal with a lot of troll. When, when he's been attacked in the chat, if he comes on alive, he watches the chat. And he can deal with a lot of it. He smiles about a lot of it because he gets he gets off on it. But then it depends on what it is. And it could be a trigger word. It could be your name of your your, your your username that you use. If it is a trigger word to him, and I'm not kidding, it could be Richard or it could be damn uh, or, or Eric Robert or anything like that. If you got something like that and or you say something that's got any kind of any kind of relink relationship to the triggers that he's been using. Blonde hair, blue eyes. That might be a trigger. Something like that will set him off. And it's so it's so drastic. It's like you've seen another person. Yeah, he's a little man. But it's just the temperament is what I'm getting at. Now, with men, women, you can't always say that. Now, mind you, I ain't saying that y'all women can't handle yourself. But <clears throat> he's still a man. And they're willing to do things that, uh, that you won't do. People need, or people need to look into his grandpa. Yeah. It'd be interesting to look into his grandpa, I'll see his background. And see, that's the um, theory what I was saying earlier. See, his, his mother is where, that's why his mother believes that she came from vampires. There's something to do with his grandfather. Some kind of niche. Maybe his grandfather believed it. Or maybe his grandfather just told his grandmother that so he can go hide out there and make make shine in the woods. There's no telling. But somewhere, somewhere in that them deep hollers in Kentucky, somewhere in Harlan, Kentucky, the truth's there. Somewhere has been left a myth, a legend, a fallacy, something that is created or allowed this individual. this imagined the world to where he is part of. And he's brought it. Like he says, he says he brings it to light. He brings the darkness to light. Okay. Brings the darkness to light. Well, maybe that's what he thinks he's doing. Maybe that's his reality. Maybe that's his realm. He uh, wants to become the legend of his own mind, but out in reality, not in the fantasy world. He knows where that's at. Maybe he does know the difference. There's no telling. But maybe checking into that part of it, maybe checking his grandfather would be a good way to check that. Get somebody started. Um, but he you got to be careful of it. Not just because of the threatening point of it, but the fact of the matter is he's he knows he's got people with him in his little group that can manipulate computers and can make them. You'd be amazed what you can do. And it's scary. So, um, I don't know. Tell her she can email me if she wants to. We're about to of course. That never happened. He has no idea why. Yeah, he, um, he'll he also, that's another thing, too, Kathy. I'm glad you said that. He will, that's how he'll use, that's his, that's his part of his little MO. If, um, if you go to doing wrong, you will be, because he will peg you as a uh, sex offender, as a pedophile. He will label you. Like you wearing the scarlet letter. That's his scarlet letter of choice. Is calling a family pedophiles, or um, you know, or sex offenders, or um, child traffickers. You name it. Everything that he claims he's going after, everything that he claims that he's against. If you don't side with him, if you somehow do not agree with him, if he tells you it's dark outside and it's not, and you don't agree with him, you're a sex offender. Don't let your guard down. You just, yeah, you, just, you can't, you can't. Get too comfortable. You can't get comfortable around him. I wouldn't want to be around him to begin with. Keep a, feed him with a long handle spoon if you are. And if you are with, or like, or all around and have any kind of relationships with him, you need to watch it. As long as you're doing your bidding, as long as you're doing his bidding and you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're okay. But it all depends on what you want to be in your life. But he is scary. I'll give him that much because of his reach and it's not just so much that it's just the people it's the damn shadiness of the people around him 
these people have got a pass. And I know I give everybody the opportunity to, you know, everybody's got a pass. You got to give them a chance to, you know, to show a different light if they, if they change. So be it. And if they change, they change. But most of the time, if you look close enough, you can tell they ain't before you get bit. If you know what you're looking for, you can see it before you get bit. Now, some of them are slick, but you can still get your hand out of the way before it snaps. That's all I'm saying. But just be careful. That's what you got to do. Yeah, he does not target children. That's true, Genevieve. It's not the point of him going after children. That's why I said I didn't see him having anything to do with something. It's not that point. He goes after vulnerable people. My point about saying that he possibly could have had anything to do with it was the fact of the matter is that child could have been used as a tool. A tool. The the family, more or less, could have been used. Being their vulnerable state they're in. I mean, you just logical. I mean, you look at what the situation they're dealing in. Everybody was talking about how they were living, they're, they're living in a situation and all that. But there was more of that than mixed out. There was more money that was transferring in that house than anything. That's obvious with a new car and all that kind of stuff. But that was because of a land deal where Grandis had sold a piece of property that belonged to Candace. So that's where that money came from. But the skepticism was still there because nobody knew that at the time. It wasn't none of our business, but that's how it was. But with the fact that he's tried it before, and yes, he has tried it before. Now, mind you, law has not been involved. These families are scared to death, but they have put affidavits together. They have actually come out and put damn testimony together. But as far as filing it with the police department, no, it has not done. Because they're scared. They are families that are at risk. They are families with an addiction. They are families that are involved in drug trafficking. Or not drug trafficking, but involved in a situation where they're just dirty. Put it that way. And that could be any one of us. I mean, it just, it's just obvious. I mean, come on, man. Well, nobody's perfect, but just saying. But he allures on them. He feeds on them. He brings them, supplies them with their addictions, whatever to crave their addiction. And once they get overboard, that's when he lures them in. Now he's got them by the balls, per, per se. He um, puts on the plan. He decides to tell them what he's going to do. The uh, plan is this. We're going to do this. And uh, you're going to keep quiet until we resurface with her. And that when, whenever I make money and become big, when I come rich, I'm going to get a TV show. I'm going to help you out just for being the ones that help me. I didn't just say that off here. Yeah. That has been, that is basically a, der a derivative of some of the things that he's been saying. Now, there's more out there. Just got to find them. There's hearsay, pretty much. A lot of bunch of that, but a lot of corroborated hearsay. And when you get a, two or three people saying the same thing, it's not hearsay no more. But when they don't come forward, yeah, it looks like a bunch of people talking shit. Peanut gallery. But it's still there. There's evidence there. It's just the point of they've got to get him on something. Now, I don't know what it would be. It could be blackmail. It could be uh, larceny. It could be anything. As far as with children, no. I don't believe that he would ever take a child. Now, would I think he would use a child to benefit himself or a child's situation? There's a bear shit in the woods. That's my point. Very scary. He is why he's scary to me is because he has lack of training. He has just enough training to get somebody hurt or get himself killed. He has not been trained by nobody. He wants to teach you how to protect yourself with no proper training himself. Claims to be a damn ex military, forged documents from Tennessee National Guard. I can't help it, but it's a fact. He can't even spell official on his document with a fake seal. Look it up. I'm telling you, it's out there. It's all there for you. Somebody that needs to be looked into and looked at. Yeah, he even got. He even goes to Amazon and uh, and yeah, buys the badges and flashes them. The only thing I haven't seen him do is put in the fake teeth. That's the werewolf. But as far as being a military or being any kind of cop. Now he wears, he's got the damn guard for that. He buys whatever comes out, the new tactical deer, gear, minus a gun. But you're right, Brian. That is the way it is. You just don't engage him. Do not try to be be around him. I would not be around him, but you, I mean, like I said, the impulse to be a reporter and him walk up on him. If you're sitting there handling a case, that's scary. That's got to be a scary moment in their life. 
because they don't know who he is. But he just comes up there and just goes to telling you about him, telling you about what he is. And he has no idea what's going on in the case, but might say a couple of key words and make you think he knows something. And there he goes. He's in the spotlight talking about something. He has no idea what he's talking about, but he's got the attention and he's videotaping it too. And he goes back to Facebook and puts it on it. Look what I did. Look where I was all over the country. Thanks to PayPal and cash apps and selling them bracelets. You know, when them, them bracelets went out of style back in the seventies, y'all know that, don't you? I mean, even the bikers don't even wear that shit anymore. But I digress. Anyway, any y'all want to come on here and talk, talk shit? You guys want to go back to work or what? Does anybody want to say anything before I close up shop? Do we have anybody out there want to say something? Hmm? Anybody? I describing the devil. No, I didn't say that as far as the devil. He, he wants to be. He could be a damn. He could be want to be. Um, he don't come and steal kids. It's not that. What I was saying, he does lie, and he does. Uh, he, he does use fear for control. He does. But as far as the children are concerned, he does not. I didn't say he actually takes kids. I don't think he's been issued. I think the kid issue would be to get him where he wants to be. This is his newest niche. Now, mind you, he, like I said, this, this, the reason why I say that is the new niche. There was a wrestler. There was a promoter. Then there was the, the, the master uh, guru that was going to teach everybody online how to be defend themselves. I mean, all this shit. And now, except now we're at the uh, you know, we're at Predator Hunter. He's uh, got a new niche. A new, whatever he woke up that morning and tried, it's dangerous. He don't have enough experience to, to do any of, any of the things that I listed. I just said. He's not been experienced to even be called. He can be a helper to start it. If you sort of like me going into uh, adult entertainment right now, you know, I couldn't be a star right off the bat. I'd have to work at it. I'd be a fluffer, I reckon. Not that I'd be involved in doing that, but there's, there's always levels. You just can't come into this thing and just expect to see everybody be a damn uh, a bounty hunter. I mean, a bounty hunter, you, anybody can get a license of that. But who the hell can say they're a professional rescue crew or a uh, recovery crew without recovering or rescuing a child? But that's who you're protecting. Do you see my point? Where is your proven track record? I've asked that several times. Where is the proven track record? You can't show me a resume. How are you proven? If he was to walk on my job and tell me he was a pipe fitter, if he couldn't tell me a certain question, if he couldn't answer certain questions to me at least, or perform a simple task that would make him a pipe fitter or even a top helper, then he would not be as such. You've got to perform. You've got to show something. I understand they don't show the damn. They're not going to show the, the videotapes or something like that. That's 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 hard. For, that's that's bad for the families and everything like that. But there is you could at least put together something to let me know. You go to Equus Searches page and you can see everything you need to know about the searches they've been involved in. The parts you need to know where they was there. Even if they were posted together with screenshots off of somebody else's search, they're at least on the page, right? That page there showed a lot of dark, murky shit when it comes to Predator Hunter. That's all I see is dark. All I see is evil. That's just my opinion. He's got an active case right now. What is that active case himself? Are you talking about, bud? You got any idea what he's talking about? But, but Benny said somebody's got an active case. What's his active case now? Because that's what he keeps talking about now. He's got when he keeps running his three-year-old child and his 72-year-old man. And he keeps running around and he keeps talking about he needs you to check the address, but he don't ever give the address out. It's always just complete gibberish when he's talking on his little lives. Like he's trying to talk in code and doing all this and doing this and that and this. Bunch of weird stuff. But yeah, the, the cases that he's working on right now are very dangerous. Let's look. I see look. What's look? From just at Georgia State. Somebody to text me. Oh there. But yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, stay right and do ten thousand. Man, you can't get spam. But yeah. Yeah, he eats in the paper spam. No, they want his um if he's got a, if he's got an active case, I want to know which where it is too because that'd be that would actually pinpoint where he's supposed to be at. Because last night I know he was supposed to be in Newport News. There's supposed to be some kind of somebody going to hold a um at a restaurant there in Newport, 
there's going to be a woman there to talk about um, child trafficking. I think she's supposed to be there tonight. And uh, he spoke that. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be there. I'm just giving you opportunities. That, that's where you could pretty much pinpoint him being at because he likes the limelight. If there's any way he can get on stage and he can talk, he's going to do that. Oh, yeah, he's got an active case now. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's his, um, yeah, that's him with a warrant. Yeah, I thought you were talking about he's working an active case right now. Yeah, he, um, he's got, yeah, he's got a case all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but he's, up uh, if, if, if he's up there in, um, Newport, yeah, he might not want to go to Newport now with an active case on. Somebody might be waiting on him. But see, uh, whether he likes it or not, he might get away with this and that. And there is there is some cops that do not put up with his shit. There's several of them that don't like um talking about him and know a lot about him. Um, but you just gotta be careful. He also talks about a certain metal. He likes to push the metal. Do y'all know what metal I'm talking about? The metal is supposed to be when it cuts the skin, it will not allow the cells to grow back together. It'll always the, the metal is uh, so sharp. That it leaves a wound, an open wound, it'll never heal. Do y'all know what that is? Any of y'all heard of that? I think uh, Richard Head has. I've seen him right there in front of me. Right there. Okay. Um, he's, um, pushes that. And that's supposed to be the, supposed to kill. He's going to brand the predators when he finds these people. Now, mind you, if he's done this, now it's not silver. It's close to it. It's a type of silver. Obsidian. There you go, Hannah. Thank you. That's one of my top notch researchers right there. Obsidian. Now, what he wants to do with it, he wants to brand the, predator, uh, the, the predators with the pH on their forehead, like the scarlet letter. See, that's what I mean when I tell you about how he uses the scarlet letter. That's what he uses for sexual predator and everything. He uses it on people that don't do as he asks. He don't brand them with the pH. But what he does, in his mind, he's doing that. He's doing it on that computer. He's allowing it to brand you to where you've got to fight yourself out of a damn bag. I mean, that's bad. A family, a woman that's got kids, three or four kids, and out of the blue, she's thrown across Facebook as being a sex trafficker or being a damn pedophile. That is bad. And that's what he'll do without you even knowing it. One day you'll go wake up and all of a sudden all hell, you'll be hearing the phone run. What the hell's going on? Who are you? And you're, yeah. People that you've known for years will believe shit like that. Not, he's, he don't put his name on it. He don't tell them who did it. But it, all of a sudden, it gets listed. That's what you got to worry about. It's what he can defamation. The defamation of your character is what he'll do. That's what he'll do. It was Obsidian is what the name of that uh, metal was, man. That is a very strong, harsh, and very sharp metal. That's um very rare. He, uh, he's got some kind of charm or something he wears and he's got a couple of knives he tries to make out of it. um he pushes it but yeah it's supposed to be used it actually they've um outlawed in several places but it usually it'll actually cut the cut your cells in half the cells will not be able to grow back i don't know how it works that'd be sharp more. anyway I, you can look it up i don't know but i digress but as far as the the predator hunter I believe he's going, he is the type that it was the predator. Maybe he wants to do good. I don't know. He's got to come clean and he's got to show proof. What is he actually after? Because he left here before and came back. Now he says he's got a dossier on summer. Like he's got all kind of research, which, you know, by the time he gets through, y'all better got to come up with enough damn McDonald's wrappers and stuff like that from all over the country. He should better shove inside of a damn Bill Foe or in a damn vanilla envelope. See what happens. I'd like to see how he does that out of the damn truck, out of the, out of the damn seat of his car. Interesting. And it's always at night, too, so you know it's going to be at night. Dark wherever he's at. He don't like showing nothing. Now he wants to keep it dark where you can't tell they can't get landmarks or something. I feel where he's at. The only time he ever went daylight was when he was up in Niagara. That I've seen, other than the ones in the car, we just don't know where he's at. But no, he's gonna be there as long as he's got a niche, as long as he can stay focused, and as long as somebody will sit there and give him a damn 
one of them old thumbs up or one of them old hearts up on his damn Facebook page. And now he's got the damn page over here on YouTube again. He's somebody you want to you want to do that. It's kind of a good thing that he does that. I have to give him that much. It's a good thing. Because uh it's um Ernie Shells, we're talking about Summer Smile. It's a good thing that he's actually wants to be seen. That is a good thing. I don't like it, but it's a good thing. At least you know where he's at. At least you, you know, pay attention to him. You don't never know where he's at, but at least you know what his intentions are. And he tries to play games with these little riddles here and there. Right now, he's wanting to get his arm. He wanting to get back into this case here because he sees it's going crazy. He sees all the damn fighting. He sees all the fussing. He sees all the discrediting each other. The um, basically bashing. We, we are making a mockery out of our own selves. And it's, it's causing the door to swing open for fools like that to come in. And they realize the, the ground's already tainted, so they don't care. That's the scary part about it. But that's what he's trying to do. He's realizing that we done, he thinks that, that he ain't got to worry about us not allowing him in here because we're already vetting ourselves with all this fighting, lying, bickering. And um, I'm going to go ahead and close. Before I close, though, I want to touch base on this right here just for a moment. I, yesterday, you call it an ultimatum you want to. What were the ultimatum? I asked, I requested a response to the issue that came up after what I did yesterday with the, basically, trying to um, prove my innocence, more or less. Uh, I got pretty much told in less words than it needed to be done that that didn't give a shit. Nobody gives a shit about that. The, um, to be clear, whenever it's brought up in somebody else's chat to talk about the issue, to accuse me of the issue and to keep adamantly doing it while other people that don't even like me can get up there and state that uh, they don't think it was me. They know it wasn't me. But that's ignored for a good two or three hours. Now, mind you, she goes for the long term. But I'm saying that far. It could have been longer than that. Up to the point to where you've got the whole damn family around the table over there talking about it. And then finally... Instead of just admitting the wrong, admitting the lie, you just say, well, I'm bored with talking about it. I don't want to talk about it no more. You dismiss it. Well, little baby, that don't work for me. Because I didn't start it. You did. And you don't dismiss me. And you don't. You can get bored you want to, but I'm going to make it a little more exciting for you, see? I don't play that. You owe these people. Don't owe me shit. I told you I didn't want to apologize from you. I didn't want to see your weakness. Because I know damn well you don't you wouldn't have damn mean it anyway. What I wanted you to do was come clean. No. And you didn't want to do that. I gave you I thought damn amount of time if somebody with a damn little bit of integrity about themselves to just come clean, but you didn't want to do that. So then you kept on. And not only that, you you decide one of the people that I took up for, that I called you out on, you decided to get in touch with her again and then wanted her to tell me what you wanted her to tell me. Instead of you coming forward, first of all, you coming forward, you want to tell her, tell me you apologize after I told you I did not want your apology. I told you clearly I did not want an apology. I wanted you to own it. That was my words, own it. But instead, you lackadaisically and give a fuck if I didn't care. Just uh, told her, tell him, I'm, tell him I'm sorry. And that's it. And I, I received the message, I did. And I did it politely as I could. And I even told that person, I appreciate you doing this, but that's not what I wanted. I'm not, I'm not through with it. Now, 
that in your way. And also you made the point that you was going to go to the police, that you was going to do that because I had insisted that you go to the police if it was real, but you said you would. Now, what, what was that going to do? Because now look, let's just, let's just stop beating around the bush here. Let's get the facts. You go into the police or saying you're going to the police is two different things. The reason you would go to the police was if it actually happened. The reason you would say you'd go to the police is if you want people to think it happened. The reason you won't go to the police is because it didn't happen. You see where I'm going with this? See, the whole thing was what you needed to own, not the apology. I don't give two rat shits about that damn apology. What I care about is you coming out and admitting that you done it, that you had it staged, that you and your buddy over the phone decided to practice this thing with several takes of what words I use, whatever you want to put together with your so-called drama, damn research, want to be asses, decided to make the takes. And the only thing that I seen where you screwed up was your fucking cat wouldn't shut up. Plain and simple. Now, being caught like that, knowing damn well I don't have a cat, and also me knowing that the possible suspect involved in trying to impersonate me, which is sucks at, has a cat too, because I've seen it jump off his damn refrigerator in one of his videos. That is where I'm getting this conclusion from. Now, hey, I'm not no, no protect. I'm not no damn professional detective, no. But I ain't no drama queen neither. See, I can read between the lines. And that is the fact that you're missing right here. And you want everybody to miss because that still keeps you in the sincerity of your feeble little hearts that believe your shit. But the fact of the matter is, there's three deadly sins that you're worried about. Gluttony, envy, and greed. It's all three of them wrapped up in you. And you chose the snake. Chose the viper going after me nobody has went after you you create your own drama nobody is threatening you you create your own drama you cause your own discord you the lady are the reason why so many women today get taken for granted or get accused of gaslighting or accused of crime rate when there is not happening. That right there is a significant example. Now, because you did not go to the police to begin with, whenever you received it, before you decided to tell everybody on YouTube is the reason why I'm saying this. Now, that's factual. Because a woman scorned is what you are. A woman abused, not likely. Because I guarantee you, any of these women right here, that, that would have been the least of their worries would have been putting it on Facebook. If somebody would have called my wife threatening her like that, you'd think she'd have waited to come, wait till I got home? She'd have called the law. If somebody, if she was fearing for her life, if she thought that somebody was after her, like you claim to on your show, you would have called the law. But you did not call the law. You chose to tell everybody in your little soft, quiet little voice about your damn bullshit. And then when they said produce it, you oh, you screwed up. Then you had to think about it a little bit. What am I going to do now? I done said he called. So you had to react. So it took a whole 24 hours before you was able to put something together. Shady as it was, you at least attempted it. That is the drama. That is key point there, ma'am. That's drama. Now, prove me wrong. That is my next step. Prove me wrong. You can tell Silverback, kiss my ass too. Because it doesn't matter what kind of games you try to play. If it wasn't him, it was somebody else. But I will guarantee you this much. You know and I know there was no call made to you that you did not know and did not perpetrate the damn crime with. Nobody called your house threatening you in no way. Nobody said shit like that. You made all the shit up. 
and you got him to damn repeat it to you. And meow, fucked you up. Period. Now, I'm going to leave it at that. If I get accused one more damn time, then I will resort to other things. I got a whole bag of goodies over here on you. But I'm leaving that up to you. I would say gentlemen like. But this has got to stop. I'm not going to let it lie down and let me just, you just, just drift off into them never, never land like it's no big deal. This, after you claimed that we were boring you, we bored you yesterday. Don't you think I had better things to do myself than deal with your shit? To be accused of calling you to begin with, much less threatening you? But a mess, you wasn't even on my radar to begin with. My radar is clear. My radar is for people that need help and are pissed off about the way creators act. That's the only thing that hit mine. And whenever you don't know how to do what you claim to be. Well, how many times you put shit on your screen and say, well, I haven't proofread this yet. How many times you said them words? Or I haven't looked over this yet. That's drama. You might as well work for National Choir. Yeah. See, I've already done my part. I ain't worried about it, but I did it anyway. I want you to go to the police for that, for that faulty ass damn fake shit. You are out here. But that won't happen. Because you know damn well it's just as damn bogus as can be. <laughs> ain't nothing real about it. That's a fact. And your cat shit in your house, that's real. That video ain't. That audio ain't. Tell Silverback he needs to practice a little bit better. Because his audio sucks on me. And he needs to talk a little bit faster than that slow draw with that alcohol in his system. Because that don't work. This is sober as a judge, straight to the point. Honest God telling you the truth. You need to own up to it. And I'm done with it. God bless y'all. And y'all have a good day.